with the University Innovation Fellows Program. You're watching this video today to learn how to create a page on universityinnovation.org. When you land on the page, you're going to want to log in. And to begin by creating a page, we need to know what the title is going to be. What we suggest is drafting a copy of the page you're trying to create in Microsoft Word or Google Docs so that it's you can easily copy and paste into the wiki text editor. So today we're working with the page establishing a student innovation community across institutions. So we'll paste this title into the search bar in the upper right hand corner, hit return. And if the page doesn't exist, we're going to create the page on this wiki, which is exactly what we want to do. Click there. Perfect. So the wiki text editor functions a lot like Microsoft Word or Google Doc would, where you can change the font, you can change the size, the style of the text, and even insert media. Um, so we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the body of our text into the wiki text editor. And as we do this, one thing that I do want to point out is the usage of headers. So headers will help you automatically create the content box at the top of your page, much like Wikipedia will do. So you'll click the drop down menu and you'll see heading one through four. We're going to use heading one today because we're just creating uh, five different sections and <clears throat> anything two or higher will create the appropriate subcategories to your first heading. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and save the page and see what this looks like. Great. And there are four categories. And let's go back into the edit function at the top of the page. And we'll go ahead and remove some of the space in between these paragraphs just to adjust the formatting. Um, and you can continually save as you build out your pages just to ensure what it looks like or they have a show preview option. Um, next, what we ask you to do is for every page you create, make sure that you include your name as the author of this page. So if we go all the way to the bottom, oh, save this page. So here's another thing is that when you click the edit near this top header, so about seed in that edit, it will only let you edit that section. So if you scroll all the way to the top of the page and click edit from the top navigation, it'll give you all the categories to edit at one time. Good to know. It is. Um, so we'll create some space under our fourth category, final thoughts, and we'll write written by. This page actually was written by Robin and Neil, so we'll go ahead and copy and paste their names over. And then we also ask you to link your name to your wiki profile page. If you haven't created a profile page yet, please do so that you can tag all of these together because we also look at your personal profile page at the related links section and this page should also exist there as well. So when you highlight your name, you'll click, scroll up a little bit um, so that we can see the edit. And the, the way to create a link is with the link in the world button. Perfect. And then go ahead and search your name. And if you have a profile, it'll, it'll pop up. So click Robin and OK. And let's go ahead and save that and make sure it worked. Scroll down. And there it is linked. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Neil. We can click edit. Perfect. Um, and then the last thing we want to do to make all of this complete, yep, is to make that a heading one. Perfect. And then if you remove this space, um, if there's too much space, it'll create an empty category in your content box. So just make sure that there's no space there. Um, we're going to click on the wiki text editor in the upper left. And we're going to categorize this with the other how to guides that are on this wiki. So you'll create some space there. And then in a double brackets with a capital C, it'll be category, colon, capital G in guides. And then close the double brackets. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. Perfect. And then now you can see that both of your names are linked and scroll down. Yeah. And if you click guides, your page now appears 
in the proper category. And there it is under the letter E, establishing a student innovation community across institutions. If you have any other questions, please reach out to Stacy or myself and we can help you build out pages as, as you go. Thank you. Thank you.